Hi guys, my name is Martin Masheka. Uh, welcome to Shakes as YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, the creation of virtual machines on Citrix Zen Server. Please uh, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out some of the videos that I upload. I've uploaded several uh, videos on Zen Server installation, what is a hypervisor, the types of hypervisors that we have, and uh, the relationship between hypervisors, Zen Server, and cloud computing. Right, so this is the outline of what you actually need for you to have, uh, to, for you to start the installation of virtual machines. You need to create a free Citrix account and login so that you download Zen Center. I think I've uh, uploaded a video on this download on how to download Citrix Zen Center and how to install it. Um, that is this. Follow the installation wizard up to finish. Start Citrix Zen Center. So we start from here. You open Citrix Zen Center from uh, your list of programs installed in your machine and then the moment you open your Citrix uh, Zen Center you have such an interface as this one so you don't have anything here on this pen where you are supposed to have your server list right so you click on this link which is saying add a server so we have installed Zen Server on a separate uh, hardware computer which is the one that we are saying the server and here we are adding that server to this client machine so this client machine is connecting to that server so after clicking on this you will have uh, this uh, interface where you can add server URL or the IP address so that's the IP address for my for my server and you put the username and the password you click on add right after adding you will see that hunters and server previously we didn't have anything here we didn't have anything here but now after clicking here and then here you now have the uh zen center and under zen center you have shakes martin if you want you can add a new server by clicking here you say add new server you have a list of your servers on this pen <clears throat> right so server has been added successfully now we want to create uh, a virtual machine since we we can have a number of servers what you need to do is to select the server that you want to that you want your virtual machine to run on so here i want uh, my um visual machine to visual machine to run on shakes martin so what i'm going to do is you can right click after right clicking you will see uh, several options but you need to select new vm so that's new virtual machine or what you can do is select your, 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 your select your server then you click on new vm after clicking on that one you have this interface where these are the steps that you are going to follow from template up to finish so if you want to use a template you can select any template but i want to install windows 10 so i'm going to use a template a template is having several configurations done for you right so what we have i select that and click next so when i click next i'm from that and i'm now on name so i'm naming my virtual machine and i put the dis uh, the description here my windows 10 virtual machine to use as client machine in the client server architecture so in my uh server i'm going to have several computers several virtual computers and i'm going to create a network with that network i'm going to have a client server architecture 
where my client machines are going to connect to the servers and get the services from the servers right so this is one of my client machines after that you click next right installation media on the server computer i have installed uh the dvd disk i have uh, installed the dvd disk in the cd room so here i have selected dvd drive but you can create some folders or repositories where you have uh, your hypervisors your sorry your, your your iso images for the operating systems so here i do i'm using a disk for windows 10 then here i am now uh, selecting the home server the server that i am going to use which is shaksa martin and with the total uh 7.9 gig but free is 6.8 and from there onwards i can now allocate number of visual cpus the topology one socket with two cores per socket and the memory i want to use to gig for this windows 10 right so here now i'm now configuring the storage you can click on edit so by default because we have used a template memory is allocated already but you can click on edit so that you may change your storage configurations all right so let's go to networking on networking you can you have uh, the network selected by default but you can add you can edit or you can delete then from there you click on uh, if you want your virtual machine to start automatically you check this checkbox otherwise leave it unchecked and then click on create now but before you click on this make sure you confirm that these uh, properties or these specifications are the ones that you actually want so you have a uh, install installation method you are using a disk uh, installation source whatever that home server cpu topology and all other uh, properties uh, thank you guys for watching this video uh, make sure you subscribe you watch previous videos i also upload several videos about other subjects so subscribe so that you don't miss any new video that i upload enjoy the rest of your day bye